I wonder if you could start, Doug, by telling me about your personal connection to this era by your father and his involvement with the Iran conflict. You know, when, when I read the script to America Made, I, I really fell in love with the character of Barry Seal, and I was like, oh my God, this, I, the, and the flying, and the adventure, and the excitement, and, you know, being recruited by the CIA, and, and, and figuring out, you know, exploiting that situation and becoming one of the wealthiest men in America while you're flying airplanes for the CIA. I was like, wow, that's, I just love that character in that world. And then I'm reading the screenplay and I realized, wait a second, I know this world. This is Iran-Contra. Um, and my father actually ran the investigation into Iran-Contra. He was the chief counsel of the United States Senate. Um, and, you know, it was, it was a massive investigation in, in 1987. It was, you, my father was on the news every night and it was, and, um, and the thing that, you know, there are aspects of his work on Iran-Contra that, you know, percolated into Born Identity. There's characters in the Born franchise that are based on people in real life from Iran-Contra. And just the whole tone of the CIA was woven into um, the CIA that I created for the, for the Born franchise. But um, the thing that I really sort of remember from my father's work on Iran-Contra was my dad's sense of humor about it. And that he, as serious as, as the investigation was, and it was deadly serious, he couldn't help but chuckle about kind of the outrageous events that were unfolding, you know, un, under President Reagan. And it was in this, you know, guerrilla army in Central America that couldn't shoot straight and nobody having the guts to tell the President of the United States the reality of what was happening on the ground. And, and so that humor is, is, is really... Uh, my father's contribution to American Made. I mean, obviously, the fact that, that we know these events is because of my father's work. But, but the 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 secret sauce was was that, you know, just you know, remembering my father's laughter, um, and and that's why I chose to make American Made as a comedy. Thank you very much, Doug. Um, would you mind telling me a little bit about um, Tom's skills as a pilot, the fact that he flew his scenes himself, and the fact that he actually took a plane down to Colombia? I I read yeah. somewhere. Uh, you know, it's hard to find anything that Tom Cruise isn't good at. I mean, I certainly, you know, we were making American Made. We, we not only made the film together, we shared a house, you know, with the screenwriter. So, I mean, I really was like Tom Cruise 24 hours a day. And, and it, he's annoyingly good at everything. But as a director, uh, that's, that's a great asset to have in, in a star. And, and one of the things he's incredible at is he's an incredible pilot. He's not just like... He's not just doing his own flying in American Made because, you know, to say he did it and, and it's, he's not just doing it because, you know, we can do better scenes if, and more exciting sequences if, if he's the one actually in, in the action. But he also is capable of doing things with an airplane that, that most other pilots are not capable of. I mean, we, we had a sequence where I wanted to land an airplane at night on a remote dirt airstrip in, in South America lit only by a pickup truck's headlights, which is something that the real Barry Seal would do. Uh, and Tom Cruise was able to do that. You know, there's a safety pilot in the airplane. That guy's like, I can't see anything. Tom, how's your night vision? And Tom's like, it's great. And of course he's great night vision. And he landed it perfectly. Fantastic. And obviously, as a director, you never want to judge a character, but can you tell me how important that approach is in a film like this, where the character has varying shades to him? Uh, well, I've, all of my films are, are about anti-heroes. Uh, I've always been drawn to anti-heroes, and, and uh, so, you know, it should be no surprise I'd be drawn to a character like Barry Seal, who, who I genuinely love, but, you know, the words you'd use to describe Barry Seal would not be all that flattering. In fact... One of my favorite sort of experiences as a filmmaker is we screen the film for a test audience and then people fill out survey cards and I was reviewing the survey cards with, with Tom Cruise and you know they ask people to sort of just describe Barry Seal. And you know, the kind of words that were being used, slimy, scumbag, you know, just and Tom is just beaming. Like the more negative the words, the happier he was. I was a little nervous. I was like, oh, these are you know, obviously that was the point, but still. But then at the same time, people were being asked, you know, well, rate the characters and how much you love them, or, you know. And they loved Barry Seal, even as they were describing him in the most horrific terms you could possibly use to describe somebody. And, and that's the thing. People love Barry Seal. 